I've got here two cans of cola, one regular and one diet. The question is, what will happen when I put them into a tank of water? Will they float or will they sink? Let's find out. As you can see, the regular cola sinks to the bottom and the diet cola floats to the top. To understand why this happens, you need to look at the ingredients in each can. A can of regular cola has 35 grams of sugar dissolved in it. And in the US, I think that's even higher, I believe. In comparison, a can of diet cola has no sugar at all. Um, there's about 20 milligrams of artificial sweetener, but that's a lot less than the 35 grams of sugar that you get in regular cola. So what happens when you dissolve sugar? Where does it go? Let's weigh out 35 grams of sugar. I'm gonna put 300 mils of water into a beaker, zero the scales on that, and then dissolve the sugar into the water. The solution that's formed is now 35 grams heavier than it was before. This is called conservation of mass. Here's a simplified diagram of the molecules of sugar in orange and the water in blue. The liquid molecules are able to move around. As it dissolves, the sugar molecules break apart and they mix in amongst all the water molecules. It would be like mixing um, a handful of M&Ms into a bowl of Maltesers and again, US viewers, uh, Whoppers. The molecules of sugar are still there and they still weigh 35 grams. The dissolved sugar makes the regular Coke denser than the water and so it's going to sink. The Diet Coke is almost the same density as water and so that's going to float. There's some interesting weight differences between the two cans. Surprisingly, it's not a 35 gram weight difference and I'm going to need a whole video to explain why that is. I'll do that later. So that's why Diet Coke will float and regular Coke will sink. If you've got two cans, try it for yourself and see if it works for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. I'll be back with some more videos very soon. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, goodbye.